This is a glass of what they call the blood of the earth. This is how to make it. You start with a beet. If you have a garden with beets, that's the easiest thing to do. You just grab it by the leaves and you pull it out nicely. The roots are very shallow so the beet comes out very nicely. And this is a nice big one. If you have a fountain, you plunge the, the beet which is covered with soil into the water and as soon as you pull it out, you start seeing the beautiful red color of the beet and the beautiful red color of the leaves attached to the stem. Now we're in the kitchen and we have our beet, we cut off the leaves and now it's time to cut off the root part and also cut off the leaf part. It's not absolutely necessary to peel the beet, but I like peeling it, somewhat because I like seeing the nice red color that gets revealed when you peel it. So I'm gonna peel it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Once it's nice and peeled, it's time to cut it into cubes. The cube should be about the size of dice. You should not cut it too fine, you should definitely not grate it, because the fermentation is not going to work as it should. Look how beautiful it looks, nice and red. Uh, I cut it into slices once, then I cut the slices one third time into kind of matchstick pieces, and then I cut the matchsticks into cubes. You can be approximate, you don't have to be so fussy. Uh, and I get the cubes that are about the size of dice. Once we have the cubes ready, all you need to do is to put it into a glass jar. Uh, glass is better, of course, than plastic. It's much more sanitary and it doesn't absorb any odors or give out any odors. So we fill it all in a glass jar and once it's in the jar, nicely put, we put a, a tablespoon of salt. Once the salt is in, we fill the glass jar with clean water. If you don't have nice water and you have city water, then maybe you use bottled water. Once we have it and the glass is full to the brim, all you need to do is close your jar, shake it up and therefore and thereby mix the ingredients together, the salt, the beet and the water. Now all it needs to do is sit at room temperature in your kitchen for 48 hours, two days. 48 hours later your drink has been fermented and its bubbles on it. We're now ready to taste it. It's super delicious, healthy and nutritious, full of vitamins and minerals that you need. I put a whisk inside to keep the pieces of beet from falling into the glass and just go ahead and pour it in the glass. This is going to be the first glass, then it's going to go into the refrigerator where I can keep drinking it until it finishes. Once the first batch is done, you can actually fill the jar again with water, leave it outside for 48 hours and drink the rest of it again. Enjoy it!